Today, I will be showing you some simple photo editing tricks you can begin to use on your pictures before using them for your next project or design. If today's video tutorial guide is something you want to learn about, kindly stay true to the end of this video tutorial guide and learn the value in this video. So today we'll be using Lightroom. I'll be showing you how you can use Lightroom to edit your pictures, to bring out the details in your picture before you use them for your next project. So today's video tutorial guide is more or less like an introduction to photo editing using Lightroom. So this is the uh, Lightroom app over here. So you can just go over to your Play Store and search for Lightroom and to bring this stuff like this. So Lightroom is more or less like a smartphone, uh, Adobe smartphone devices available for every Android user. So just go back to Play Store and download this stuff called Lightroom. So this is the basic home page of Lightroom and to import, to bring in images or pictures. So you have to go to this down, round, down right part of your design and click on this plus button icon. It will take you straight to your gallery, to your device folder and you can select what you want over here. So you, this is, it will bring the folders where your pictures or your designs are over. So I'll just go over to my gallery and go select uh, one of the pictures I'll be using for today's video tutorial guide. Let me just search uh, for model. Let me look for my model image. Let me look at my body images. Uh, I'm kind. Okay, so let me go over here. So let me go over here. So just take you to straight and go select any images you want to edit. So I'll be showing you a simple trick you can use in bringing out the details in all of your pictures before you use them for your project. So let's use this guy over here. So let's use this guy over here now. So it's, it's going to bring a notification up here now that you are importing and you can see like this. Okay, it's, it's imported. So I think I have similar picture right there. Okay. This is the picture right here this is the picture right here so just click on it when you have imported it can you see what we have here without editing but today i'll be showing you how you can bring out the details everything about this picture and the next picture i'll be showing you is how you can use this light feature right down part of this device check this down part of this van and now you can use this light just click on that light it will bring other amazing tool for you so using that you can and begin to work with every tool over here till it comes to your taste so this first one which is exposure it like is more or, less, more or less like a light shining upon your picture so don't use it too much so you will not uh, spoil your image so just work with it a little bit a little bit and the next one is this contrast use this contrast and um it's going to like make make it let them it will make a difference between your pictures it will bring us some certain details in your picture so this shadow part what the shadow helps to do is that it helps you add light or reduce the light in every shadow of the picture so look at it so if i increase it it's going to enlighten all this all the dark parts all the shadow parts of your design and if i reduce it it's going to reduce every shadow everything that's more or less like the shadow of your picture is going to reduce but i will be increasing it right here now so i'll just increase this to this and i'm okay with this so the next one is this white what this white does is that every part of your picture that is kind of whitish is going to either increase it or reduce it so for example this is it over here so if i increase this i will have something like this and if i reduce it i will have something like this so i'll increase it because we are editing our picture and also what this black dot is that every black part of your picture is going to either add more light to it or reduce the light so this is it over here if i reduce it you will see that some dark parts are kind of getting darker and if I increase it to a lighter part, I get in lighter as you can see, right? So moving on to the next, which is the color, is one of these amazing tools I love about this Lightroom. So just stay true and I'm touching these two parts because they are kind of more 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 useful for uh, uh design or uh, retouching they are more or less useful design. so i'll go over to this vibrant color and when you get to this vibrant it like bring out the color it makes the color pop or reduces the color pop can you see the difference so when we increase it like this can you see that the, the, like the color that are coming out are getting even more brighter look at the previous one so if you want to see your previous work just hold down the picture just uh, press your uh screen down like this and we show you the before remove your hand i will see the after can you see the difference of what you have been doing so far so use this five brands to increase to reveal increase the uh the sharpness the sharpness of the color so moving on to this next one which is effect this effect is oh it's a sweet feature that you should check out so the first one here is texture this one is texture is bring out the uh more or less every details every every uh more or less every uh shapes everything about the picture especially the face look at it now if i increase it can you see how it is 
bringing out all these upper part of this thing but if i reduce it it's going to take it and use yourself may not like it so i'll just increase this remember there's no uh there's no uh custom stuff for this thing it is just you that is going to walk around every two years to get your taste to get whatever you desire so this is not a job this is not a uh a custom stuff for you to do no just when you get to the app just begin to work with every two till it's come out great till it's come out better for your own taste so today i'm just showing you so this clarity is more like it will increase the clarity increase uh, how this thing is showing it will reveal more parts of your picture so this clarity i don't like using it too much because of uh, some certain parts if you use it too much it may spoil your image can you see like this if you use it too much so it's better you just use a little bit of it depending on what you want so leave it like this and this gigante i don't use them mostly for when it comes to photo retouching but when it comes to the uh, design retouching i use all this stuff for them mostly so now to the next details which is these details over here when you get to this detail right here see what you can do you can increase every part every part of this design i think this picture is not kind of okay but we can see what you have done so far on it so just increase the sharpness like this increase the sharpness like can you see that everything is coming out like everything is like more or less popping out popping out because of this sharpening design if you reduce this can you see that they are like gone so make sure you just use it and dump till or till you get something good make sure you don't use it to the extreme whereby it will even spoil your overall work so just walk around it a little bit walk around it a little bit so these are what you should be doing to your pictures or images before you use them for your next project they are what you should be using before you use them for your next project so you can just walk around all this stuff walk around all this stuff make sure it doesn't go to the extreme so today this is i think this is the end of today's video so go over to optics also if there's something this always does and um we have something like this so let me show you the before of this picture look at the before this picture is not kind of sharp it's not kind of popping but look at after we have done the editing can you see that details everything has come on so this is basically what i want to show you this simple editing photo editing tricks you should begin to do so after you are done with this if you want to save your project just click on this share button icon of this stuff here when you click on this share button you can just go over and click on save to device and um, it will save your gallery and you can begin to use it for your project so this is basically what i want to show you on this simple photo editing trick if you find this video helpful kindly like this video subscribe to the channel and also i may leave a link to our where you can get this uh photo room but if i don't leave a link go over to play store and search for lightroom and you have something like this thank you for watching today's video see you at the next video